Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick Test Tuesday here on Sparkling Autos. And up this week we have a very well known and very popular all purpose cleaner or universal cleaner as they call it, which is Green Star from Kokkemi. A product that, as its description suggests, can be used to clean anything from alloy wheels to alcantara, from bodywork to engine base. So over the course of the next 10 minutes, you're going to see me try it a couple of different ways. Initially as a wheel cleaner at a 10 to 1 dilution ratio. Firstly, spraying it onto the wheel, allowing it to dwell for a few minutes and then rinsing it off and seeing what impact it's had. I'm then going to follow that up with a second application, only this time I'll be agitating it with a variety of wheel and tire brushes. Which should give us more of an indication of what this is like compared to a dedicated wheel cleaner. And once the wheels are done, I'm going to give it a try as a more traditional pre-wash product at a different ratio, but more on that a bit later. For now, let's just get stuck into those wheels. Now any regulars to the channel will know that these wheels are in absolutely no way showroom condition, and they're never going to be. I have been saying from day one that I plan on getting them refurbished, but it really just isn't a priority for me right now. That being said though, I'm aware that the centre caps have faded away to absolutely nothing, and I know this triggers an awful lot of people, so you'll be delighted to know that I have ordered replacements and they'll be here within the next few days. But enough about all that, let's get back to the test in hand, and if you're new to the channel or if you're just new to this Quick Test Tuesday series I've been producing since the end of summer last year, I should just explain that basically it's just me picking up products off the shelves, having a quick look at the instructions and using them based on those instructions. There's no deep scientific research going into any of this, I'm not trying to bore people with jargon, it's just a quick normal guy at home using the products as I find them and letting you know what I think of them. It's as simple as that. So if you do like the series, please do make sure you give the videos a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications of future videos. So how has Green Star at a 10 to 1 dilution ratio fared on the wheels as a pre-wash product? Well as you can see here looking at before and afters, it hasn't really had much of an impact at all, there's very little of the dirt has been removed. However, to be fair to the product, that was about 4 weeks build up of winter grime and road salts, so we'll see what it's like as a more traditional wheel cleaner. Now I'm using a bucket of hot water here purely to keep the brushes lubricated, there's no other chemicals or cleaning products involved, so let's try it with a more traditional approach and see how much of an impact it has this time. Now though I do have the full set of the easy detail wheel brushes, I prefer to actually use the smaller brush on these particular wheels as it's just a perfect fit between the wheel and the brake caliper when I get round, saving me having to rotate the wheel anywhere. And just spraying a little bit of product onto the brush occasionally just to keep it lubricated for removing the dirt from the wheel barrels. And something I always like to do when cleaning wheels is to give each brush a good rinse out before putting it back in the bucket therefore reducing the risk of transferring any contaminants from one wheel to the other, which could inflict unnecessary damage on the other wheels. Now obviously that may not seem as important when I'm working on older wheels like this that probably do need a refurb anyway, but it is a good habit to get into, particularly if you're working with diamond cut wheels or wheels with a gloss backed finish which scratch very easily to say the least. But I'm waffling again, so what do you think about Green Star as a wheel cleaner? Well certainly as you can see here it's definitely pulling plenty of dirt out even at this 10% dilution. So I want to remove that from the face before I go over it with the soft icon brush as I want to reduce as much possibility of causing any damage to the face of the wheel. And the second thing that really struck me as I was cleaning the wheels with the brushes was just how much this product foamed up even at that 10%. Honestly it was like using a wheel shampoo. But let's speed the footage up and we'll see what the wheels are like at the end of all this. And finally then onto the tyres which really highlights both the dirt removing capabilities and the foaming ability of this product. Does it remove the need for a dedicated tyre cleaner? Well to be honest we don't really need a lot of the products we use, we use them because we like them. But it's certainly a viable alternative. And as I rinse the last of the product away, what are my final thoughts on it as a wig cleaner? Well to be honest I was fairly disappointed with it at using it as a pre-wash product, I thought it would have done a bit more. But then it's redeemed itself going in with the brushes, I think it's done a fantastic job given just how dirty these wheels were to begin with. So now we know it makes a good weed cleaner, we'll take a look at a lower dilution and see what it's like as a pre-wash product. So now I want to see what Green Star is like as a pre-wash product on the bodywork. And to do that I'm going to use it at roughly a 30 to 1 dilution, so I'm using 70ml of product and topping up with water to make a total solution of 2 litres. 
I will then, as you would expect, spray it over the entire car, leave it to dwell for a few minutes and then thoroughly rinse it off. But before we do that, we'll take a much closer look at the car, see what sort of condition it's in and see exactly what the product's going to have to deal with. So on closer inspection, certainly in the front of the car, you can see a lot of traffic film. You also see a few stone chips, which no matter how good this product is, I don't think it's going to get rid of those. And then we come to the sides of the car, particularly behind the wheels, which is where any pre-washed product really has to earn its place in your cleaning arsenal. In fact, I don't even think I need to describe half of this. You can see the dirt for yourself. There's dried in road salt, there's just muck, grime, whatever you think of there. So I'll stop talking and let you take a look at the dirt and then we'll see what this product's going to do about it. I will say one thing, as filthy as the car looks, the wheels definitely look a heck of a lot cleaner now. So now that you've had a good close look at what I'm actually dealing with here, I'm going to spray the product rather liberally across the entire car, focusing more so obviously on the lower half of the car, and allow it to penetrate for as long as possible before it dries in, but generally 4-5 to five minutes will be long enough for a pre-wash product, then I will thoroughly rinse it away, take another close inspection and see just how much this has removed, if any of course. And this is the perfect time then to place the detail guards which will stop the hose snagging on the tyres as I'm going around rinsing the car off. So here we just have a close look at the product dwelling while it's doing its thing. And you'll notice something that always really impresses me with pre-wash products when you're diluting them at 30 to 1, 50 to 1. Because if you think about that, that means this product is now 97% water, plus the water that was actually in the product to begin with. And yet you're still getting a nice foaming effect from it. But that's enough fancy close-up shots of bubbles. Let's get this rinsed off and just see what exactly it has done. So having allowed the product to dwell for about 5 minutes, I'm going to go in now with the 160 bar Ava P80 pressure washer, remove the green star solution from the car and just see how much dirt it takes with it. Everyone has their own preference for removing pre-wash products. My preference is to go from the bottom to the top. I find it's more of a visual indicator and also it's reducing the chance of further diluting the product on the bottom of the car where most of the dirt is. However, as I do always say, these are not instructional videos and if you have a method that works for you and that you enjoy doing, then by all means keep doing it. At the end of the day, for most of us, this is a hobby and that's exactly what you should be doing with the hobby is enjoying yourself, not listening to what somebody else tells you you should or shouldn't be doing. But hopefully from me going from bottom to top, you can actually see the dirt being removed from the car here. So we'll just go ahead and get the rest of the product off and we'll take a look afterwards and see how effective the product's been. So now that all the pre-wash product has been removed, we can take a closer look at the car and in actual fact see that pretty much all of the dirt has been removed too. Bearing in mind that beforehand the car was coated in dried on dirt that had accumulated over 4 weeks worth of winter driving, I can honestly say that I'm fairly impressed with this. Now of course the car is still going to need a contact wash, which it did indeed get following this procedure. However, as pre-wash products go, I said it before and I'll say it again, the results do speak for themselves. And that only leaves one question.
Caught Kimmy Green's throw then, and whilst it did get off to a shaky start, it certainly pulled itself back with the contact wash on the wheels, and even more so with the pre-wash, and it's very much earned its place on the shelf. So now I'm going to proceed with washing the car, of course using the Cock Kimmy Auto Shampoo, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.